Hey everybody, William Brown back again. And have you ever been engaged in an argument with somebody that's just for just a fucking idiot? I mean, um, I had an interesting conversation. Well, it, she tried to bait me into a conversation, uh, an argument. Um, a lot of ad hominems and you know sliding a little insults in and basically I kind of just stuck to my guns on it to the extent that I was willing to engage the individual before just finally I got as disconnected from her as she is with reality now first of all it's not that this person was a liberal I don't even want to call her a liberal because even liberals don't deserve to be grouped with this one um, the topic was, was a friend of mine had posted a comment on Facebook that he was expressing admiration for Rand Paul's filibuster and this gentleman in question uh, is previously pretty skeptical about Rand Paul. His name's John Bush. Uh, in fact he was actually interviewed by CNN about it and he's definitely not a fan of Rand but uh, you know he, he gave Rand his props and so I'm reading down through the you know the replies to it and I see this woman's reply was that, you know, basically it was, fuck Rand Paul, you know, whatever. Uh, he doesn't support women's reproductive rights choices. And uh, so I posted, I couldn't help it, I posted underneath it. And she wasn't the only one. There was another one that kind of had a, you know, an allusion to that too. But I posted on there that, you know, yes, because your vaginas are, are so much more important than Americans being assassinated by their own president, right? You people got some fucked up priorities. You know, oh, here she comes. She starts going off on you know, this old hardcore, you know, feminist claptrap. And oh, uh, so it just got me to thinking, you know, how could somebody be this fucking stupid? Uh, I mean, check this out, okay? If you follow the filibuster like I did, I started watching it from the very beginning, from the minute he stood up to the minute he sat down, um, uh, much to my old lady's chagrin because she wanted to watch movies. But in the process of the filibuster, first, Code Pink comes out and endorses the filibuster. Then the ACLU. Then Demand Progress. Even had a Democrat senator got up and expressed admiration. The next day, the only self-proclaimed socialist in all of Congress, independent Bernie Sanders from Vermont, actually voted against uh, Brennan's nomination. So you got all these members of the left, and these are hardcore lefties, man. I mean, Code Pink, are you shitting me? I mean, these people, uh, they're, you know, they make Democrats look like Mormon Tabernacle Choir, right? They're so far to the left, and even they get it. So it's like, what the hell is this woman's problem? And then I came to the conclusion that she is, you know, the whole topic of conversation basically being drones, you know. She's a drone of a different sort. And uh, these are the drones that Obama can unleash on the American public. <laughs> is the, the brainless, mindless, irrational zero thought process other than repeating a talking point and the same old catch catchphrases and slogans and accusations and just you know now first of all you know if you follow my other channel you know before youtube took it down or anything you know then you're aware that i'm pro-life okay dig it i don't care you know as far as like birth control and all that I agree the government should stay out of the bedroom that's why I'm also I also advocate gay marriage gays have the right to be as miserable as everybody else you know as so the saying goes so uh, yes I believe the government should stay out of the bedroom um, but when you start expecting other people's tax money to pay for your birth control pills is that not the government being in your bedroom <laughs> I mean if you want the government out of the bedroom then you gotta go whole hog with it pay for your own damn birth control pay for your own damn abortion uh, you know and, and that's one thing I do agree with this individual your cooch is your business <laughs> your cooch ain't none of my business man uh, the only cooch I'm concerned with is my old ladies uh, <laughs> you know the rest of that, that's your business and I'm not gonna make it my business I am pro-life um, I really have mixed feelings on using the power of the state to enforce my point of view, though. 
I think it'd be better off kind of like with uh, cigarettes, you know, you can get a lot more accomplished by just trying to like talk to people and, and get them to, you know, swing them around to your point of view. I don't think we need to have, you know, representatives of the state to force the issue on people one way or the other. Kind of occurred to me that if you use the government to pass laws uh, forbidding abortion or making it a criminal, that's kind of the same as communist China passing laws to force abortions on people, so uh, which they have already done. So anyways, that's just my whole take on it. Um, had an idiot try to bait me into an argument, and you know some people you can debate with, you can disagree with, and have a good debate. You know, you test your, yourself on them, and then they're testing themselves on you. It's all good. You stay friends. You shake hands and walk away. Whatever. Some people, they just a goddamn dumb. I mean, you got to throw your hands in the air. It's just like, what the fuck, man? Anyways, this is William Brown, Republic of Texas TV. Well, actually, the URL now is uh, youtube.com slash revolutionatx, but it's still the same old Republic of Texas TV as you can see by the words on the screen. And as always, I do thank you very much for watching. Hope you have an awesome weekend, and may whatever God you worship bless you abundantly. Bye.